The path of spiritual awakening is a lonely path. Not only are the paradigms in your life completely breaking down and you realize you were living a lie the whole time, but also people will start to leave your life because you don't resonate with one another anymore. There's nothing really that you can talk about with them. And even if you try to be kind and cordial and try to join the conversation, there is just always an energy mismatch. But here's something the spiritual community doesn't talk about enough. Adversaries, or what religious people would like to say, the enemy. Isn't there a saying, the more levels, the more devils, or the higher the level, the more devils, something like that? It's true, because if you're spiritually awake, you know that we live in a matrix system. It is a kind of artificial holographic film that's been put over what our original experience was supposed to be. And when you start to rise in consciousness and you start to deconstruct your dogmas or certain paradigms, you will find that the matrix starts to attack you because you are now shining bright. You're like a firefly um, with its sparkly bud in a dark forest. Everybody can see you. These adversaries can come in forms of lovers, new friends, sometimes even family members. So if you have found your soul purpose and you are now going after it, you will find that these, what you thought was supposed to be your lover or your friend or a family member, they start to go against you. They start to talk down on your dreams or they start to plant seeds of doubt. When people think of adversaries or enemies, like they think of random strangers on the street who attack you or a police stopping you for no reason, I mean, that could happen, but it's usually the people that are closest to you. People are gonna call this fear mongering, like, oh, you can control your own destiny, but like you really don't realize how complex this matrix system is. Like through my spiritual awakening, I always used to think that the matrix movie before I was spiritually awake was like just fun and games. Like it was not possible, right? But then after I went through a spiritual awakening, I started to see how real life started to mirror the Matrix movie almost to a T. I started to get freaked out because it's true. Once you start to go against this Matrix system, it's they can pick up on your energy and they're like, oh, no, you're not going to do that. We're going to find ways to dim your consciousness and dim your light as much as possible. Here's how you protect yourself against these adversaries when you're spiritually awakening. Don't share your most vulnerable traumas or just vulnerable information about yourself because believe it or not people may use it against you if your intuition is telling you that there are certain spiritual esoteric topics that you shouldn't talk about don't talk about them try not to share your manifestations or your dreams or tell people what your soul path is also this is how i personally protect my energy because we all have auras auras can be siphoned imagine a liquid mirror encompassing your whole body when you do this, this mirror will mirror back to people who they are instead of them seeing right into you. Hope this helps.